So I've been redoing the studio and I literally came across on TikTok the best upgrade for any gaming setup and that's the RGB cloud ceiling. It looks official, but it's the perfect acoustic treatment for the ceiling and it killed the echo in the studio. Now I wanted to make this video to show you the process of how I did it and what you would need if you're going to want to do this as well. Now I have a pretty big room and I decided to cover the whole ceiling and it still cost me less than $200. So trust me when I say it's well worth it. Now before I jump into any project, I love to do my research. And although I found some great videos on how to do this, there is a better way to do it and much better material. So don't worry, I got you. So let's go ahead and start there. What will you need for this project? And of course, everything I mentioned will be in the description of this video. So first, you're gonna need some RGB lights. Now, don't go and get any RGB lights. I specifically recommend the GoV RGB IC basic LED strip that's about 32.8 feet, and here's why. Okay, they're Bluetooth, they have over 16 million colors, and they have a smart app so you can customize every single LED light in that strip, which is what I love the most. You can change each color to be a different color and it syncs with your music. And here's the best part, they're only 27 bucks. And I only needed for this room, two of them to do the whole ceiling, okay? So next, you're gonna need the clouds. Now, everyone recommends getting polyfill, which is correct, but this is the brand that they recommend and man, is it bad. Okay, the material feels rough, it's an off-gray color, so the clouds look dirty during the day, and it just looks like cotton on the ceiling. Okay, the only benefit is that you can get it almost anywhere, so go for it if you're in a rush. But if you're gonna invest in this project, I recommend you do it right. So after spending money on Polyfill and the brand they recommended, and after returning it, I found a company in Canada that has the softest white material that actually looks like clouds and really helps with the sound in the room. And the price is the same. For 20 pounds, it costs about $78 with free shipping. And for most people, 10 to 15 pounds is gonna be more than enough. For me, it's Took about 30 pounds to do the whole ceiling and that's because this room is about 16 by 13 but trust me when i say go with the material from the canadian company you won't be disappointed now next you're going to need something to attach everything to the ceiling some people recommend getting construction paper and spray glue to do it but to me since i've done it it's just added work and a waste of money let alone how toxic the glue spray is so here's what i did and recommend get yourself a staple gun and an electric one if possible. I started the project with a handheld staple gun and after 20 minutes of doing it, my hands were killing me from applying the pressure. So to avoid that pain, get yourself an electric staple gun. I got mine at Home Depot, cost me about 30 bucks and about 10 bucks for about 5,000 staples. And that's all you're gonna need, trust me. So now that you know what you need, and again, all the links in the description of this video, let me quickly walk you through getting this all set up. So the Govi LED strips come with 3M tape on the back of them. So you can stick them directly on the wall with no need to be able to staple them. Now if needed, the only part of the LED strip you want to staple is the plug cable that runs up the wall to keep it neat. I hid most of mine so I only had to do this once. Then as you put the LED strip on the wall, you want to go ahead and stick them in a zigzag pattern giving them a nice effect so once you put the clouds, it actually looks like lightning or storm or the RGB lights that you're looking to accomplish. So once you do this across your ceiling or the area where you're going to want to do the clouds, now it's time for the fun part, right? Put in the clouds. Now it's very time consuming and you know because it's like putting small pieces of cotton balls on the ceiling but the end result will be worth it and that's what kept me going. So I started by pulling the potty fill in one corner of the ceiling and then worked my way to cover the LED strips. So you just simply grab a handful of the potty fill, make it into a snowball and then staple into the ceiling. Now make sure that you don't staple the LED strips. Now I recommend testing the lights as you go to make sure everything still works fine. Then once you're done, your ceiling should look like mine. proud of what you've accomplished. So now go ahead and open up your app 
and go crazy on the light setting. There's so many options to be able to pick from. My favorite is the night mode, which gives a nice purple, blue, kind of dreamy look. So once again, everything I mentioned will be in the description of this video. Now, I totally love the way this came out, but what sold me on it is the sound absorption, making the audio in my streams and content sound amazing. And if you wanna see the five acoustic panels that I built that made the studio so quiet and to see if it's worth it for you, go ahead and check out this video where I show you the whole process. I'll see you guys in the next video.